3 fourth cup butter, 3 fourth cup sugar, 2 pieces whole eggs, 2 cups all purpose flour, 2 teaspoons baking powder, 1 teaspoon baking soda, 1 half teaspoon salt, 1 half cup heavy cream, 2 teaspoons vinegar, 1 cup nuts of your 1 half cup choco drops, 1 and 1 half cups of banana, 2 teaspoons of vanilla. cream and one half cream and you just have to put the two this one vinegar and mix it then you will have a sour cream first is put all the bananas mix well using the mixer you will know if the banana is overripe and it can be mashed easily. If you want some texture, you can leave it like this. Add the brown sugar and mix. Continue mixing until it looks soft. Add all the eggs. Then slowly add the butter. Mix until the butter softens. Next, add the sour cream we made earlier and mix well. Continue mixing. On the other side, sift all the dry ingredients. Sifting is important to avoid lumps. After sifting, mix all the dry ingredients. Mix well. Coat the nuts and chocolate with the dry ingredients. A coating avoids sinking of the nuts and chocolate. Slowly add the dry ingredients in the mixture. Mix well until soft and no dry flour thin, like this. So you can see now that it is very it is smooth. Brush some oil or shortening to the pan to avoid sticking of the mixture. So this is the mixture and they're already divided in the pan. So pag nagbebenta ka, kailangan mo itong timbangin o pangkantay. Pero kapag hindi mo naman nabibenta, okay lang na, tansya-tansya lang. Dapat kung ano, alam mo naman ang height ng pan na yung ginagamit sa ito. So, dapat 3 fourth lang ng pan ang lagyan mo ng mixture. So, hindi umapaw. We left some nuts earlier. So, that the left nuts, you can add it on the top to make your baking beautiful. So, as you can see, I am putting a sheet pan. The purpose of this is that when you're baking, example, may umapaw man or matakon, then it will be saved by the sheet pan. At hindi ka na mahihirapan na maglinis ng iyong oven. Preheat oven for 15 minutes in 400... Fahrenheit. Put it now in the oven and bake it for 15 minutes in 400 Fahrenheit. Lower temperature to 350 Fahrenheit and wait for another 20 minutes. Now let us check if it's already cooked. So you will know if it's cooked when the upper part is firm already, firm to touch already. Or you can use a foot. Mm, when you do it, let's add more. Another. Mm, let's add um, another 10 minutes. It's delicious, right? So the banana cake is now cooked, but it's still hot. So we need to cool it down first. For and go, let's go back later. This cook because the upper is firm when we hold it. Let's leave it for 20 minutes to cool down. We need to put it in a cooling rack so that it will not moist in its lower part. This is how the banana cake looks like. You can see that it's very soft. And that is how you make the yummiest banana cake. The moist and the texture is very great. I hope you like it. Hit the thumbs up button and subscribe. Thank you for watching.